The American Cancer Society estimates that by the end of this year, there will be 4,100 new, 110 new breast cancer diagnoses for the year in North Dakota. Close to 1,300 of those cases are estimated to be fatal. Renee Cooper sat down with several survivors who have banded together and tell us how they managed to regain their lives after beating cancer. Just about everyone in this room knows what it's like to have a doctor tell you you have breast cancer. At the time I had a two year old and a six month old baby and I had no time for this. And that's the worst part about a cancer diagnosis. There's never a good time. The survivors say it's the little things that kept them afloat. I've been trying to stay busy chasing kids, um, changing diet when you can, but a lot of it is just trying to stay positive, trying to look at it as one step at a time rather than being overwhelmed by the big picture. When I had no hair, my son was like, or my husband was like, actually, you know, you're, you're kind of sexy that way. <laughs> Hanneman says meeting for group therapy sessions with other women in the same situation helped her through. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, breast cancer rates have been decreasing since the early 2000s. But aside from certain kinds of skin cancer, it's still the most common type of cancer in women. Mo Bent spoke to the group about getting back to a new normal without being afraid of cancer and the fear of dying. For me, it was all about exercise and getting active and being healthy. It helped me clear my brain. She's been cancer free for four and a half years. Cancer takes a lot of the control away from you. It takes a lot of your feeling of self calm, worth, all of that. She says everyone's journey is an individual experience, but remember, you're not alone. Let your family help you, and don't be afraid to reach out to others who have experience and know exactly what you're going through. Renee Cooper, KX News. Some incredible women right there. Tomorrow morning is the Edith Sanford Run Walk for Breast Cancer at the Family Wellness Center in Mandan. Proceeds will support local patients and breast cancer research. Be sure to join us. The race starts at 1030 tomorrow morning.